With 13 stories for 13 Sabbaths, we are the media missionaries of Network 7 Media Center. Welcome to Mission Sunlight. I'm Pastor Samuel Misiani, the president of West Kenya Union Conference, right here in Kisumu. Today, our media missionaries join Pastor Mishiani in Western Kenya, along the eastern marshland of Lake Victoria. And in West Kenya Union Conference, we have over 470,000 Seventh-day Adventist Church members. We are having over 460 pastors in this union. We thank God that the work of God has been moving on rapidly in this union. God is doing great things for us. For instance, God is helping us to reach so many non-Adventist leadership in various denominations. Uh, right now, we have had to, to, to train over 100 pastors from other denominations. Some want to be Adventist, uh, some are still studying with us, have participated in their graduations, and uh, if you could see these people rejoicing in understanding the true message of the gospel, you'd thank God for what he's doing. Of course, the blessings of so many new converts to the truth as it is in Jesus come with challenges. Right now, uh, one of the challenges we have in West Kenya Union Conference is what to do with the pastors who come from other denominations and join us in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. One of the needs in this area that we have thought of in West Kenya Union is to open a place where we can bring these people and help them study deeper and then we find out how we can absorb them in the ministry within the Adventist Church. True Adventist education in Kenya reaches beyond the students in the desk to the students in the pulpit. Our thrust now is to train our pastors to be trainer of trainers. We want every church in West Kenya Union Conference to be a disciple-making church. Right now we have over 460 pastors, but most of them are pastoring over 10 churches at a goal, some 16 churches. Now, if a pastor is having 16 churches and there are only four weeks to pastor, it means that it takes our pastors sometimes four months because, before they can visit one of their churches. That means that time has come for the pastors uh, to focus not just on preaching, but in making members preachers themselves. I've had nine sessions in different places, about three days each, of just meeting with the pastors and focusing on the spirituality of the of the pastor himself. Because if the pastor himself is not a disciple of Christ, who is learning of Christ, he will not be able to train church members to be disciples of Christ. In West Kenya Union Conference, we major in mission. One aspect of that mission is to build an Adventist hospital in a growing section of Kasumu, but adjacent to a squalid urban neighborhood. We want to do some counseling to HIV victims, and after that, we'll also uh, encourage them to have strength and to believe in God and be baptized. We are also targeting the street children, those people who are drug addicts. We want to do some rehabilitation for them. We bring them back, we counsel them. We are also planning to uh, tap one of the slums that is very close uh, to the hostel where we can give treatment. We know that by the grace of God, we will be able to have health centers in each of our cities so that we can meet the needs of the people in a more holistic manner. We are rehabilitating our prostitutes. We are bringing them back, studying with them, counseling them, and restoring them so that their minds can be renovated and we have Christ formed in them. The hospital is being built on the campus of Victory Adventist Church, a rapidly growing church plant with more than 2,500 attending. The members are building a new worship complex at the edge of Kasumu City. Building the church with their own savings, they are eager to see the hospital built with help from the 13th Sabbath offering so that their center of influence expands for the kingdom. This hospital, as we see, it in itself, it is an evangelism that will go ahead of the spiritual that is done in the church. The hospital shall be our center of counseling to those who are infected and affected. Tom Ching is an elder and also the general contractor on the project. It is through 
hospital of the church, that's going to help them because this is also a ministry that Jesus said that we help those ones who are in need. This hospital that we plan to have here, we want to have this center to be unique as Adventist Medical Center, providing comprehensive health services. Looking from above, you can see how well the new hospital plan will fit into the Victory Church campus. This hospital and the church, because they are in one place, there is a serious need for members who, who are not Seventh-day Adventists to be nourished spiritually. The plants are there, we have made the drawings, we have identified the land, and we've even uh, done some sketches in terms of where the real facility will be. There is need for this medical center because these people will be coming not only to get the curative treatment, but they also be coming for even counseling and other services, including HIV. The reason why this facility is well situated for this purpose is because it's also along the highway. And along the highway, many people are passing through this highway and it will be ideal, it is accessible. We want to make it a community health center where people can come for all the services they require. Having a hospital in the bustling city of Kasumu will be a fulfillment of the gospel, the right arm of the gospel, the gospel of peace by our faith-filled Adventist brothers and sisters in Kasumu. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the World Church, those committed Adventists who give in the 13th Sabbath offering. May the Lord bless you as you pray for us in West Kenya Union Conference, even as we also praying for the rest of the World Church because we are one family. We want to thank everyone who is coming to support us for this. Those people who are volunteering to give their 13th offering, get to know that you are with us in the mission. I would wish now to thank in advance all the members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church that through the 13th Sabbath offering, we are going to achieve greater things. We thank the Lord for bringing this project and we are really praying that uh, God work it mir miracles with those, with his people during the 13th Sabbath offering. The stage is set for a center of influence that will combine the entering wedge of the health ministry with the sanctifying work of the gospel, giving an eternal hope to thousands. Will you join your Adventist family in Kenya this 13th Sabbath, December 28th, to ensure that the kingdom plans come to fruition. From the East Central Africa Division, we are the media missionaries of Network 7 Media Center, uniting the Seventh-day Adventist Church for mission. This is Mission Sunlight.